Hey, it's the Midnight Raven, and I am filming this on Sunday, although some of this was actually bought on Saturday. So I've been to Tesco's this morning, and I'm going to show you what I bought in a minute. But yesterday, which was Saturday, I went to a yard sale at a lady's house, and I picked up a couple of bits. I also picked up a couple of bits on Swap and Market, and then today I knit to Tesco's and got a couple of bits. So it's just going to be kind of a mixed bag today, um, yard sale and shopping. So let's show you the yard sale stuff first because that's what you want to see. And then I'll show you the market and the supermarket. So let's go for the yard sale first. So the first thing I got at the yard sale was this. This was 50p. This is a pub quiz. Uh, me, my um son and his girlfriend and really my younger son as well we like to play uh games at home um in the evenings when they stay over and this is a pub quiz so i'm gonna go through these questions and make our own pub quiz that way i can tailor it both to my eldest which is 18 and to my youngest which is 12 um and make the questions i suppose you could say fair to both ages but this is a make your own one kind of thing. You can basically just take questions from there and make your own. It was 50p, 250 questions. Bargain. Next item I got was this bag. Look at this. How cool this is. This is a sanctuary spa bag. And basically, uh, when the lady got it, it came with a bunch of items in it. It was kind of like a summer thing. And it had all that in it. This is just the bag, but this was what she got. I can't remember if she said it was for like a summer thing, but the original bag's worth was £45 with all the bits in it. Obviously, it's not worth £45 now. It was really cute. We've got gold and white, and they've got these rope handles. We've got a gold, rose gold zip or a copper zip. And then inside, it's not too bad either. It's actually quite huge. I got this for a pound, would you believe? Yeah, just a pound. Absolutely huge. I'm going to stick this on probably Facebook Marketplace, see if I can get a couple of quid more. It's not in bad nick. It's got a little bit of wear and tear on it, but I only paid a quid, so anything I can make on top of that would be good. I started selling on Facebook Marketplace, and I've already had some interest in some stuff, so... Um, it's just a thing I can also do aside from eBay that's local and I can make quick money. But yeah, looks pretty cool. No real marks on it apart from one down the bottom, which I can probably fade off. But I think the bag's kind of cool for a quid. Okay. Next item. We got a 20p mug. And this is for my eldest, so he loves cars. I don't know anything, so if you know anything about these cars, you can comment down below and tell my son. But really good classic vintage cars there. Um, on the back it says classic cars. Um, the um, I can't read that, but it's that collection. Can't read the fancy writing, but it's dishwasher, microwave safe. So he wanted the little mug and it was 20p and I thought it was a bargain price for a mug. And he'll have that. Then we got two books. The first book we got was this Ultimate Encyclopedia of Spells. So I've always been interested in, I want to say black magic, but this obviously isn't black magic, it's white magic. Um, it's incantations, spells, um, it's white witch stuff. Um, I've obviously been interested in the dark, um, more like black witchcraft, but I thought this was kind of cool. So inside it tells you all about um, spells and it actually uh, shows you some as well and how to make them. You've got spells to find, um, a lover's initial, spell for love within the month. Um, you've also got casting a spell on a beach, um, banishing poverty. Um, gathering career momentum, uh, encouraging self-esteem, and they're just all little things. So you've got a new moon one. They're just all little spells, and it comes in this really cool book. And I think these were a 
25p or 50p and I got that one it's by Michael Johnston my man and then this one really um shocked us so I myself am an adult and I do adult colouring sometimes and I do flowers and butterflies and normal stuff this one was a bit different this is colouring the human anatomy yeah I thought it was weird too it's never been used but inside you have parts of the body and you can colour them not only that, some of the writing is actually in bubble writing, so you can actually colour the writing too, and you're meant to colour the inside of the human body, and they go through every part of the body, the intestines, the brain, the capillaries, lungs, you name it, skeleton, bone marrow, and you can colour it. So I've never seen this before, I'm actually going to look it up before I lift it. But I've never heard of this before, never seen anything like it. And I like macabre stuff like any other person. But this is actually a second revised expanded edition. So out there somewhere is the original edition of this. Never heard of it. But apparently you can colour anatomy and the idea is you colour all the body parts look. Hmm. I thought it was weird. I am going to Google it and look it up a bit more before I list it, but that was around 50p. Never heard of it before. Comment down below if you have any idea about anatomy colouring books, because I didn't even know there was a market for it. Next, we went to the Swaffer Market, which I always do. I always support my local market and have a look around. And we got a bag of these. These are Liam Perrin, and these are the Worcester Sauce Crisps. Never tried Seabrook crisps before, would you believe? But I used to make my own Worcester crisps. I used to get a plain bag and I used to tip the Liam Perrins in and then shake the bag up. Um, so now I can actually have ones that are made for me. And they were 50p. And then my son got these to try. Again, these are Seabrooks and these are the beefy original cut crisps in beefy i'm um, not really a fan of beef crisp but he wanted to try it obviously uh both seabrooks and they were both 50p then i went to tesco's today and picked up a couple of bits just the old usual but i will show you anyway so first of all picked up a little milk can't remember how much it was but you gotta have milk Next, I picked up a reduced sandwich. This is the smoked ham and cheddar baguette. I managed to get this for one forty-eight, not down from two fifty. It actually goes out today, I believe. I believe the actual last day is used by today, so I picked that up. Then I picked up these. These are currently half price at Tesco's, and these are the perfect Pringles paprika flavor. I absolutely love paprika crisps. Paprika chips, anything with paprika in it is got my taste buds going. I love the taste of paprika, and this is 125. They were half price, I believe. Next for my tea tonight, trying something different. This is the Bangers and Mash Classic Kitchen Meal. So this is already um like your Sunday roast, just already done for you. And inside this is what it looks like. You get Yorkshire pudding, you get your sausages, you get your mash, and your beans and carrots. The only thing missing is obviously gravy, which I will make my own. Um, there is some in there, but I will probably make more. Um, and that was £2.50 for that. Never had it before. Obviously, it's just Yorkshire and sausages, but I've never had it where it's already been, like, pre-done. To give me some extra mash, because the mash in here is actually quite small when you look at it. It's like a little dollop. Um, I bought some more mash and I bought this. This is the Tesco mashed potato. This is 135 for 450 grams. So I probably won't eat all of that. I'll probably cut it in half and like have some now and then have some tomorrow. But I got that to have with my dinner. 
I picked up this, the So Dark Romantic. This was a pound and it smells absolutely lush. Mm. This is so good. It's not got those floral smells that I can't stand. This is a nice kind of, I don't know how you class it, but it's got that kind of dark edge to the smell of it. It's not all floral and girly. It's more, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it was just a quid. And this is literally the second time I bought this now. Hopefully they keep selling it. And then I got two chocolate bars. I first of all got this one. Oh yes, we have Lindor. Oh, Linnet Lindor. And this is the milk chocolate bar. And this is Smooth Melting Mint. I absolutely love Lindor. And I've actually heard they're doing a Christmas calendar. Oh yes, going to be buying one of them, I should think. Um, never had a lint calendar before and apparently they're doing one this year. I've got ears on the grapevine for when they come in. But yeah, I got this one which was 80p on its own or I could get two for 120. So I picked up another bar and this is the Kit Kat Gold. So this is Kit Kat Gold, um, caramelize your bright. So it's basically Kit Kat Caramel. So I got Kit Kat Caramel which actually is a goldy colour. Um, I actually would love to get hold of some more of the um, ruby pink one that they did. Oh, that was absolutely lush. But I thought I'd try the caramel one as I hadn't tried it yet. And the mint Lindor. And together, these were 80p separately or 120 together. It was 120 together, right? 80p separate, which isn't bad because chocolate like this for 80p is quite a lot. But I was quite happy to pay for the two. And that was everything I got. Very short one. Didn't find a lot at the yard sale. There was only one. And it's Sunday as I'm filming this. And I haven't gone to the car boot once again. Um, I've had a lot on. And I just didn't get up this morning. I'm hopefully going to do something during the week for a video. Um, whether I go out shopping. Um, I'm going to try and bring another video, like a vlog style video. If you haven't watched my vlog from last weekend, I went to the park and I was vlogging about how the park looked atrocious and how the skate park um, was basically ruining the park. If you haven't seen that, I will link that up here. It was me showing you the park in its disarray after the kids have been down there um, and how much trouble they're causing. Not to get at the kids, but to highlight the issue more than anything else. But yeah, if you want to see more from me, give me a big thumbs up. I have videos coming every other day at the minute, sometimes every day. It varies to when I can fit stuff in. I obviously do work and have eBay to do, um, so I have to fit that around. If you'd like to check out my eBay, though, I will link it down below. And I do list on Facebook Marketplace now. So if you ever see any of my items on there, feel free to buy them. So I will hopefully see you for another video. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye all.